It's disturbing, isn't it, that uh, British English, or rather English English, is in danger of becoming erotic, not erotic, erotic. That is, that we are losing the erotic sound, uh, the R at the end of words like um, river, river, river. Uh, we don't say river anymore. We say river. And uh, stellar, we don't say stellar. This, this would be a feature that you'd find in American English, American English, but you certainly don't find it in British English anymore. Apparently, it's only uh, recognised in places like uh, Lancashire, very small areas of Lancashire, where there is a rotic sound, where, where, where the rotic R sound remains, remains in words, particularly at the ends of words and before consonants. And uh, you still get it, of course, in Scotland, but it's almost dying out completely. You would have found it a few years ago in Cornwall and in Norfolk. But again, uh, because of the influence of... Uh, I was going to say television, but it's not really television. It's, because it's the Internet and the, the, uh, the extraordinary homogeneity of the English language, because English has become a world language. Uh, many years ago, I was the secretary for an organisation called the World Englishes Foundation, and uh, we were celebrating the varieties of different English as they were spoken around the world and as they were taught around the world. And uh, so, so rather than trying to see or, or encourage English as a as a single form of language, a single pronunciation, a single uh, dialect. We were we we were trying to encourage Egyptian English, um, Indian English, American English, and so on. And with with the diversity of dialect, accent, and um, expressions, and uh, and and uh, because of the of the use of English around the world, English in its native country seems to be losing its varieties. And well, I'm, I'm the University of, I think it's the University of Lancaster has it has in fact itself um, done the done the research to to demonstrate that only in East Lancashire, parts of East Lancashire, is the rotic sound preserved. And, uh, and and it's dying elsewhere. I think we should we, we should make a we should make an effort to try and keep the R sound in English. Um, uh, it's the um, uh, it, 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 it's the sound which um, which you might hear in the um, in the rather ruder version for the for the word for donkey. Uh, the the word for donkey is ass, but if you stick an R in it, you get a much more entertaining word, and. Uh, it's the only, I, I, I can think of that being the only instance in regular English where you can hear the R ah in the middle of a word. Most of the time the R ah has become silent. So a crusade for eroticism, a crusade to, to ensure that English does not become a totally erotic language.